What a fun game of cricket that was. In a game where the batters were putting on a circus act, one man stands tall. The cream rises. Jaspreet Bormra. You're watching the Morning After IPL. Shubman Gill, license to three. Double O seven. Uh, Pezza, that is an insane game. You just said to me, it's a game involving guys on Mount Rushmore. You're Mount Rushmore of IPL cricket. Names, numbers, faces, beards, eyes. I love all of it. But in one respect, one team's season is over yep. already. Yep. Mumbai is back, baby. Are they back? I know I've got a line through the RCB <laughs> camp. <laughs> okay. uh, Mumbai's top four now, favourites for the competition. Uh, it's a shellacking. Everyone's in the runs. Boomer's the best in the world. It's net run rate stuff. They're drinking at the Fountain of Fortune again. And oh. what a drop it is. <laughs> Virat, what did you think of the performance? Now delivering in 10 minutes. <laughs> Okay, that's harsh to be fair. Hey, if you are in New York, yeah. 10 a.m. tomorrow, 10 a.m. Friday, Friday, mm. tickets. Friday. Friday, mm. 10 a.m. on Friday, tickets go on sale for general admission. GA tickets go on sale, 10 a.m. Monday, New York time for our one off live show on Broadway, greycricketer.com. In fact, Charlie's going to put a link in the description of this video to get your tickets 10 a.m. Friday, okay? Unfortunately, we're not doing the games this weekend, but we'll be back on Monday for more morning after IPL sort of gear. Um, so that's what's happening here. Shall we get the scores on the screen? Unless you want to say anything about... Uh, no. Nah. Um, uh, the scores, so uh, RCB batted first. They just about got themselves to 196 for eight. In fact, in many ways, they actually yeah, did, did yeah, get themselves there. Got there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. And Mumbai Indians, Mumbai Indians just about <laughs> snuck home with um, 27 balls oh, remaining with seven a, wickets. That in is it. a hammering. That is a hammering. Uh, absolute hammering here with the scores. We saw Faf batted nicely. Padadar bat did okay as well. So did Dinesh Kartik. They got them to 196, but it was just an absolute clinic in the second inning. Ishan Kishan, nice batting yeah, as well. They yeah. like it with the gloves as well. Yeah. Cute eyes. Uh, mm. What about Sky at the end there? 52 as well. That mm. was sensational. Back, Sky's back. Um, but the whole game revolves around one player. Yeah, dog. First thing, ladies and gentlemen, Boom Boom's five. Mm. Boom Boom's five. At the, so in this game, there's 400 runs in 35 overs, 11 wickets four in the game, <laughs> and one man... Of, with all of those scores, all those numbers falling in front of your eyes, yeah. takes five for 21. Will Jacks. At an, <laughs> at, at an economy rate of five, yeah. that man's name, Will Jacks. <laughs> Sorry. R.M. Williams. Sorry. <laughs> uh, I mean, Jaspreet Boomerang. <laughs> Talk about standing head and shoulders above the competition. Yeah. I mean, there'd have to be some, some mathematical uh, explanation of the difference. Yeah. In his performance versus everybody else, like like oh, that is Bradman esque. Yeah, uh, who only played against England. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. So it doesn't really. But he was count. good against that team, exactly. and Mumbai are very that's good right. against and RCB. He went upstairs to Bradman. Um, <laughs> <laughs> what a player Jasper Boomer is. I was very oh, pleased man. to see because yeah. none of us would be sure that he was player of the match and it wasn't just given to some bloke who made a you know bulk run. Yeah. Um, essentially, the rest of the Mumbai bowlers went the distance yep. uh, in, in this innings. Mm -hmm. uh, and the thing with Boomer, uh, what words remain? Like, for me, it's not even cheapies that he picks up. Mm -hmm. He gets Virat. And more on that later, yeah. by the way. Yeah, yeah. I, I get to want now, get now, if you want the real story yeah. right, of, yeah. of what happened yeah, in this just game. Just skip to it, yeah. Skip to it. But he gets Virat. He starts it off. Bunny stuff mm -hmm. uh, with Virat. Mm -hmm. He gets Faf. Good uh, good catch, Tim David, coming yeah, forward. Yeah, good catch, yeah. It's length. It's Yorkers. Yep. It's short ones that hits the sticker. Mm -hmm. He bowls at the beginning. He bowls in the middle. He bowls at the end. Yeah. Like, the, you know. All of a sudden, Mumbai are impregnable. Yeah. Like, they're unable to be impregnated. Yeah. Um, they'll win the Ashes. He's, they'll win the Ashes. They're the best team in the world. He's the fourth player to take an IPL Fifer. Um, he's rightly player of the match. Uh, yeah. And I just I, – I, I couldn't have more flowers for this man. Fourth, fourth, fourth player to take a second IPL Fifer, I think. Thank two, you. Two. Thank you. Yeah, and, yeah. and once again, I'm just testing to save the you. Comments. I'm, I'm yeah, testing yeah. you and you, you succeeded. Um, has there ever been a mystery seamer? Like, ha, like, like it. Because, Good. like, guys don't know where it's coming from. Yep. On speed, off speed, Mate, you can't, into the deck, you can't through the get, chest. You can't get him. Mate, is it breaking your foot? I mean, usually with mystery mm. bowlers, you don't know which way it's spinning. With Boomer, you don't know if you're going to end up in hospital or on crutches for six weeks. Oh, like, well that's, that's the mystery of mm. this guy. Like, it's just... 
When uh, who did he get like, into the into the deck? Was it uh, was it Lomo? Lomo he got he gets um, is Varshak hits yeah. the sticker with Varshak? Yeah, it's, uh, someone else as well. I got to tell you, there's, there's 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 something about like hitting the stickers. Lom- Lomro got the Yorker. He got the which Yorker. He, which he reviewed. Which so, he reviewed. Mate, walk, just walk. Yeah, and he was in pain as he mm. reviewed, which was quite funny. He was, mm. was crutched, over, bent over. Yeah, he looked like, like ah. he was swearing, but that was just pain. <laughs> uh, and then displeased with the uh, umpire's call, but um. There's something about in T20 cricket where you're surprising guy with a bouncer, like like these guys as well. In a game, that, as you said, just about 400 runs in the game in, in 10 minutes. 35 overs, 400 runs. I mean, like that. There's something very visceral about like, oh, you've actually been deceived with a bouncer, like to hit the stickers on the bat and get caught at mid wicket or wherever it was. Like it's uh, it's it's so impressive at he, the he moment. Just, he he cannot get lined up right, no, which was yeah. an issue in Sydney for a while um, with the prices, but. <laughs> Jasper on the white stuff on, on the, oh, his you, skiing. No, but honestly, guy, guys cannot um, find the rhythm. Mm. You know, like all, all the top level batters just they talk about cues. You know, mm-hmm. again, an English fascination. Mm-hmm. But like, uh, mm. it, 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 because of his angles, because of the mystery, because of the 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 command of each different style of bowling, uh, you you just cannot predict him. It wasn't uh, wasn't the game before this the game that it was like two twenty versus two hundred? I really should have looked this up beforehand. But he had, he again had like two for twenty or something. Yeah, two, he's, two he's, for on, 30. he's on absolute fire. Yeah, and yeah. but he wasn't playing the game were, that game. And remember, someone that, else did something good. Yeah, with the and bat, they but, weren't like opening the bowling with him either yeah, for a while there, yeah. and he's still dominating. Mate, just get him going from the start. Oh, what yeah. a valuable four overs that he uh, yeah. that he bowled. And and again, like it's five for twenty one. Mate, get out of here. Power play, death, yeah. middle. Give yeah. him any over, and yeah. he's dominating. Yeah. He's one of the best in the world. Uh, anyway, rest of the rest of the innings there. Um, uh, you know, Faf comes to the party. We've not seen him for a while. Sixty one yep. or forty. Yep. Um, padded us some runs, as you said. Uh, DK wonderful finishing uh, 53 red that, that was um, that was as good as I've seen from DK yeah. I, I know I know. I mean he got himself into the World Cup last time um, with, with that death batting but that was um, that was seriously impressive that was high skill yep. and really got them to a score which was just about competitive you thought at halfway um, he batted superbly interesting he didn't want the second run for that final ball um, now uh, there's a <laughs> if we can queue up um, Harsh's tweet yep. actually after uh, yep. after DK's innings uh, Harsh says in this form Dinesh Kartik is the best Indian finisher in the Tata IPL okay. 2024. Now, um, is Harsha trying to get cancelled? Yeah. That, that's what I'm asking. We've got Shubman <laughs> last night where he dared say, you know, that uh, looked yeah. like you left it late. Yeah. Uh, because um, he's absolutely bodied Dhoni there. Uh, <laughs> and I like it. And I like it, to be honest. Um, Maxi, Maxi misses out uh, at the same ground he made 200 at. Um, he's yeah. Having, he's having... A season where the only synonyms you can pull out are those next to the word dreadful. He, Glenn with Max, the blade, Glenn, with the blade. Glenn Maxwell is a player that is, he's basically a, a fine mineral, and you, and when and his his runs are minerals basically. And he he went to he dug, he dug deep into the earth, into the iron, the, like the fucking core of the earth, yeah, to mine those runs. A borehole, and yeah. now. There are no runs left. There are no minerals left in the earth for him to mine anymore. I.e., yeah. runs. Are you saying he's out of runs forever? I think you'll find it once he starts wearing a different jersey. Yeah, in a couple of months' a little, time, uh, a little yeah. green or gold. Yeah. <laughs> I say, I say, with Glenn Maxwell at the moment, no problem. Anyway, so that, has that, he got past five yet in the IPL? <sighs> it's it's not double Probably, figures, isn't it? <laughs> oh, it's like it's it's like it's so out of form that it's like it's. Like it's not even out of form because mm. he's not even batting long enough to mm. be out of form yet. Yeah, it's actually <laughs> it's it's actually positive if anything because yeah. we don't actually he, he's we don't actually know if there's runs in him yet. Like yeah. he hasn't batted long enough for us to know if he's in or out of form. I mean, Delhi or Punjab are going to get an absolute spanking against oh, yeah. him, and it won't oh. matter. But oh. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, anyway, so yeah. it's an okay innings from RCB, but it's also 40 short. Now, let's, um, <laughs> look, <laughs> it's not why you're here, ladies yeah. and gentlemen. It is time for What Now, Get Now. Do it, Charlie. I am titling this What Now, Get Now thanks to Big Basket Now, Factions and Warlords, okay, ladies and here gentlemen. This is Factions the real story of yeah. this game, uh-huh. the real narrative, the soap, the sizzle on the sausage. Yeah. Two things you can get from Big Basket now in 10 minutes. All right. And soap. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Now, first one, I'm going to start off slow. Start off slow. <laughs> There's a few to get through. I know this is only meant to be a minute segment. It's going to go a little bit longer. Um, Just like a value Big Basket from us, the great <sighs> cricketer. Hey, people the, actually didn't even know about it. This is the real story of Big the Big Basket game. was a little startup before this. 
Oh, and now yeah. They, and now they've got, and yeah. now they've got Lockie Ferguson on that. Yeah. They keep saying to us, like, um, Tata. We're like, oh, yeah, that's the parent company. But they're saying, no, no, bye. Yeah, yeah. Bye, bye. Please yeah. stop yeah. saying yeah. our name in, in your show. <laughs> um, okay. Boomer versus Coley. Boomer v. Coley. So we said a couple of Mount Rushmore characters involved in this game. Yes. Um, Boomer v. Coley. Now, as soon as Boomer got VK out, mm-hmm. uh, an old revelation by Partiv Patel. Yeah. He of left-handed keeper bat fame. Yeah. Um, began Pl- circulating on social media. So this is an interview we did with Crick Buzz a little while ago. Um, right. You can chuck that, uh, this up just to prove it because um, yeah. now it's in you know some sort of infographic. Um, and he says, <laughs> he says, in 2014 when I was at RCB, uh-huh. I told Coley there's this bowler named Boomer. Uh-huh. Have a look at him. Mm. Virat replied saying, Chona ya, ye Boomer Boomer kya kereng. Was that AI that I've just tuned in to just say? <laughs> <laughs> it's happened before people send in AI versions if of things If you're unsure what that means, uh, yeah. leave it. What will such players do, says VK in 2014. Okay. Right? Um, obviously, Boomer has, since, since then, um, uh, Vera Cole has taken him at 147.36 strike rate, but he's been out five times. Five times. So, so for Boomer, that's, that's, I took that personally. Yeah. That, that, Not that he was part of that conversation, but I'm sure Partiv Patel passed it on. It doesn't sound like a great streamlined of academy, just like, I know a guy. Like, it feels a very, like, five-a-side football on a Wednesday night, just like, can someone fill in for us? What about this guy over here? He's good. I like him. You know what I mean? Yeah. I, I also feel like um, Partiv Patel, at that moment in time, is trying to say to Virat, like, you, d- you know, he's trying to say, like, Virat didn't understand my talent scouting of players. Like, yeah. I'm sorry, I mean, I'm, yeah. this guy's good and Virat's like, you know, pack him. Yeah. And that probably says more about Virat's views of Partiv Patel. Yeah. Really. Um, because I'm pretty sure Virat knows that Boomer's good. Um, <laughs> he knows now, anyway. Okay, that was the first one. That's not even a big one. Um, uh, Camp Rohit and Camp Pandya. Because... Oh. There's, a, there's, an, there's an interesting moment in the game when DK is flailing them about. Yeah. Right? Yep. Now, according to Mah- Muhammad Kaif, yes. Rohit on knew. On comms. Yeah, this is on comms, right? Yep. Um, Rohit knew that DK liked to play through third. Yes. Right? Yeah. And according to Muh- Muhammad Kaif, yes. can he say his name? No. Yeah. Um, but he can speak Hindi. Uh, he's, <laughs> Rohit goes up to Hardik and says, put a man at third. That's yeah. where DK plays. Yeah. Pandya says, Pack him. Yeah. I'm skip. Yeah. N- maybe not in those words. Yeah. Uh, and ignores him. And then DK goes through third for three boundaries. Whilst, whilst booing, I think. <laughs> um, so, interesting. Like, Pandya brushing Rohit, according to Muhammad Kaif. If he... If that happened. If that happened. If that yeah, happened. Yeah. Uh, like, there, like, there was instruction happening on the field, mm. but to lip I... I is Muhammad Kaif a wonderful lip reader? Is that what he's been doing since Possibly. retiring? Let us know in the comments. Yeah. Um, now, later on, uh, mm. later on, um, while DK's batting, mm. Rohit Sharma, and, were, and, and bring, up, bring up this tweet, mm-hmm. um, Rohit Sharma's telling Dinesh Kartik, who's yeah. flailing them to all parts, yeah. that he has to play in the World Cup. Yeah, he has apparently. to. Apparently. Yeah. Um, this is picked up on Stump Mike. Rohit's clapping a lot. We yeah. won't show those because we respect the rights, yes. unlike everybody else. Yes. Um, so, yeah, he says, Shabas DK, World Cup, uh, Kelna Hain Abi. Um, brilliant, DK, you have to play the World Cup. Yeah. Now, this is interesting, right? Yeah. Um, because Ishan Kishan, the man, <laughs> yeah. the man who is, uh, yeah. you know, in line for that spot, yeah. one of the many keeper bats yeah, who probably won a spot. A couple of good ones. Is apparently standing there with a single tear rolling down his eye, yes. Daryl Strawberry yes, style. that's right. Right? Yep. So, are we, is Ishan Kishan in Camp Pandya? Mm-hmm. Uh, Rohit and DK, Camp Rohit, mm. um, are factions getting out of control or are players just having a laugh? I know that this that he wasn't playing in the game, but you have to think about Kale Rahul's wedding and his relationship to Virat Kohli uh, receiving the Porsche, the yes, Ferrari, wasn't it, as a, a as, as a gift? So that's like, a great, You have to think about that. You have to you have factor to. these things in. Um, now, Rohit, or, he's at a selection meeting. Yeah. Um, middle of the game. In front of Ishan Kishan. Yeah. Or, he goes, because mm. this is the first innings, and Ishan Kishan comes out and mm. smashes him, is he indirectly motivating, motivating. Ishan, Ishan Kishan yeah. 4D chess style? Yes, yes. You We've know, seen this so many the, times the before. The factions and the warlord stuff is really heating it's up. It's a game within a game, Pezza. Now I want to get to the third one. Okay. Coley and Pandya. Okay. Right? Now this isn't a, this isn't a faction. This is Coley being a uh, peacemaker. Yeah. As he often Once is. again. Once again. We saw it in the 2019 so World Cup with Steve Smith. It, it, we saw, we've seen a lot. I'm going to list them for you. Okay. Everyone was on Boo Watch for Hardik. Yes. You and I included. Yeah. On Boo Watch. Yeah. Um, <laughs> my wife wants me to come to bed. Babe, yeah. I'm on Boo Watch. 
Give me that, that show finished a long time. No, Boo Watch, not Baywatch, babe. <laughs> anyway, everyone's on Boo Watch for Hardy. And, uh, yeah. and the, boo, the Boo's the doth rang when he, when he came out to the ground. However, yeah. muted because, uh, and Britain, and, and, and want you to bring this up. Virat, who's fielding on the boundary, well, that, we'll have a look at this, um, who has an admirably great record for encouraging crowds not to boot plays, is telling them to chill. Uh, as you can see, as you can see, crowds clapping, Mount Rushmore yep. stuff again. Yep. Uh, now, he's done this with Steve Smith with Sandpaper. He's yep. done it with Naveen Al Haq, World Cup 23, supported Shami on social abuse, um, uh, supported Rishab Pant. Um, now, he's supported Shami for good reasons, I think. Um, yeah. Uh, he's supporting Rishab Pant. He's supported Hardik Panja now. Yes. Um, and that's a, that's a good use, I think, of uh, one's gravitas yep. and is to be commended. Now, Hardik then hit the next ball for six. Yes. So he's the game kind of passing very up by. <laughs> that's what I'm asking. <laughs> Ravi Shastri weighs in. <laughs> okay. Has, uh, Comes Virat, out of the steam Virat room. Virat Kohli, is, and this is more Rushmore stuff, mm-hmm. uh, out of the steam room, first trap stuff. Yep. Um, your girl knows about yep. it. Yep. Um, I'm Virat, naughty, I'm 60. I'm naughty, I'm 60. I'm hotty. I'm hotty. Yeah, yeah. Uh, Virat Kohli is doing what <laughs> Rohit Sharma should have done openly by now. Right, okay. Hey, the, the, this is this is soap opera deal. <laughs> I'm all in. Seriously, who's your Everyone's guy, in. mate? Who've you got, mate? You sport, gotta have a guy. Sports are all about who's the person you like, and you fucking die on yeah, that hill. Exactly. Oh, you think Messi's better? Who <laughs> better? <laughs> You know, yeah, that's the fucking thing. Yeah, Jordan no, or LeBron, exactly. You know, it's not about the sport. It's not about the game itself. It's not about statistics. Even it's about what you feel in your heart in those moments. Exactly. It's your right to boo the fuck out of some guy that you used to like, but like now he's actually rivaling your favorite player. Yes. That doesn't know your name. Yep. Sure, but that's what your right is mm. as a person that watches the game and has it in your heart. That's right. You know, that's what we're getting into. Exactly. Soap opera gear. Soap opera gear. When your player is more important. Important than your team, yeah. As well, um, I'm on Team Sanjay Mandraka because he said a few days ago when I when I tried to stop booze, yeah, for Hardik Panja by saying behave, yeah. Then people were criticising me by saying fans have their own emotions, yeah. But now people are appreciating Virat Kohli. Honestly, I don't know what to say now. Sanjay, brother, it's just, <laughs> I don't know how to tell you. The guy just has more power. That's it. And perhaps he wasn't really like I feel like Virat was more a uh, more of a request, you know, than an instruction. Yeah, yeah. But you know, uh, anyway. So you can get all that at Big Basket now. <laughs> uh, Bollywood yeah. uh, DVDs, if that's even still a thing. Yeah. Uh, whatever, whatever you need. All right, hey, I know that went on. Let's yeah. go to second thing. Okay. Uh, second thing, uh, Sky and Friends um, didn't oh, click man. from Mumbai. Here he yeah. goes. Mumbai, pretty chill start. Twenty three from three. Um, Twenty three from three overs. RCB's only threat with the ball because they've been unders with the ball for I think about 34 years Yes, um, is the top three overs from Siraj and Topley who can swing the ball and yep. then after that it's basically gun barrel pass um, Glenn Maxwell put down a tough chance at slip off Ishan oh, yeah. Kishan early on wide. he's standing, standing wide, wide. Yeah, so he's sort of, a sort of two and a half yeah. almost and he's Australian yeah that's right um, but he did well to nearly get a hand on it which is more you can say when he's batting when he's trying to hit it with the uh, yeah um, when, so, he, when he does bat well you can get a hand on it <laughs> that, that's exactly mm, right sometimes too uh, but apart from that this was ap- this was an absolute clinic was the opening partnership 101 before um, mm. was it Ishan got out first yeah, yeah. it was first I mean, time Rohit's been involved in a 100 partnership in the IPL is that right yeah um, that is right well I'll be I'll be <sighs> Mate, checking that, that later with that, my sources oh no it's true I know I got one wrong early yeah no that's a statgasm well I'll be checking with mm. my dog who as we know is called stat um, so, uh, Ishan Kishan was, uh, was electric. Some of the shots off, uh, who was it? I can't remember. He took Siraj down. Siraj, like over point that as well. one over cover point. Oh, yes, please, daddy. Can I have some more? <laughs> um, highlight for me though is like, I mean, Reese Topley has got a claim to be the sexiest man in cricket at the moment. Okay. The catch he took off Rohit Sharma. High praise. In a, eh, 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 eh. The catch he took off Rohit Sharma at, at a short fine leg there was an yeah. absolute screamer, yeah. and then just and then just looked at it, and then fucking the ball looked like a tic tac in his hand as yeah. it was wrapped around. So cricket's easy if you're massive, mm. um, but and that if was the ball's a tic tac. That's just a little sideshow to what was an absolute clinic. Surya Yadav comes in, yeah. and it was circus time. It was party. He hit one like he does that shot sort of if he gets length on his hip and he flicks it. It wasn't even on his hip. It was almost like middle and off. Flicks it fucking out of the stadium towards the Steve Smith uh, statue. They've got yeah, the other one, Katie. Yeah. Um, 
for was it fifty? He's fifty of eighteen balls or something like that. 17, 17. 18, 17 balls. Uh, he's back. Oh, Sky's yeah. back after a duck coming back uh, last game. Sky's so. back. Things are clicking for Mumbai. No, oh, yes, you're please. talking supple wrists, flicks, slices, laps. Mate, this was such an annihilation that it was like, yeah. oh, it, it was it was great fun, and and that's that highlights Boomer's innings uh, with the ball anyway, like how yeah. good it was because. All the – not all of them. There were so many – five batters scored 50 in this game yeah. at, at a very no. good click. Everyone, and it's like, everyone's at the trough. Yeah. Everyone's drinking at the trough. But there's something about sky yeah. runs, isn't there? Oh, dude. Yeah, exactly. There's something and, about and, sky and runs. And it's, you know, like – Pick your poison. What's your poison? For me, Sky, one of my f- most favourite poisons. He gets out to some waste stuff. Once again, waste stuff. You know, mm. like, like you know, is it above his waist or not? They're putting some numbers next to yeah. it. I mean, a waste, as far as I understand, isn't an isn't an anatomically recognised part of the body. No. It's a confection. It's a so- yeah. societal confection. I'd be surprised if you could go back to ancient Rome, ancient Egypt, mm. ancient India, mm-hmm. right, and, and find... Um, Comments and um, <laughs> descriptions of the of the word waste. It's, yeah. it's a modern confection. What yeah. is it? Where is it? Mm-hmm. Some people have legs to their armpits. What does that mean? <laughs> you know, we call them supermodels. <laughs> now, um, uh, yeah. So then they sort of uh, booze around for Hardik to the crease a little bit, a little bit until um, he hits six. Because they start cheering. I'm very confused. Like, if you're going to boo, shot of Hardik, they said that last ball. Yeah, uh, yeah, to, win the, yeah, to, win yeah, the, yeah. to win the game. Yeah. I don't know what that is. Like yeah. that, that's like if you showed Bradman again, yeah. if you exhume the skeleton right. and he comes back yeah. and he sees that, he, he'd be like, "Yeah, what's that? <laughs> <laughs> this is in England. <laughs> Where am I?" <laughs> yeah, that was that was sorcery from Hardy. Um, I, I I just I mean, like if you want to go to the ground and boo and stuff, it's all part of the pantomime. It's all part of the gladi- uh, gladiatorial atmosphere mm. of a live sporting mm. event. Yeah, but like I just don't understand how you can like you, you boo him and then he hits a six and you're like, yeah. Hmm. Like I don't. It's it, it's mixed messaging. Be consistent, like I am on this show. <laughs> <laughs> um. Anyway, yeah, no. It'd be, it, we know in Australia we're so fickle that, like, you know, as long as our teams win, we're happy. And oh, if we yeah. lose, we'll find all sorts of moral issues with them. You know what I mean? Yeah, so, yeah, like, yeah, it's, yeah. it's not it's not uh, yeah. it's not specific to India. It's mm-hmm. just uh, the the wisdom of crowds. Australia you know? lose one game of cricket. Let's start sledging again. Yeah. Oh, ex- exactly. Yeah. Peaks yeah. and troughs, Bring baby, it back. in our fashion. Yeah, it's fashion. Um, Cyclical. All right, third thing, contrasting fortunes, Mumbai versus RCB. We had, if we had this conversation a couple of weeks ago, it would be like they're both cellar dwellers. This yeah. is not looking good. It's true of one and not of the other. So if it wasn't obvious, that's a line through RCB Yep. Uh, for should me. We, should we get the table up? Yeah, okay. Get the okay, table up. Get them up. Um, that's fifth loss in six games. Yeah. RCB slide down to ninth, MI, MI up mm. to seventh. Um, so MI, MI like their, their two wins – have been so fun that it feels like they're higher on the table. They, I mean, they've still lost three games, but they've won the last two, so it's like, oh, I'll turn it around. RCB, they've now played six games, five losses, only uh, in front of DC. And I just feel like um, Delhi and Punjab, like, they they just don't have the squads. Like, mm. fundamentally, their teams are weaker. Now, like, they're, they're not weak. They're just IPL weak, you know. They've still got world-class <laughs> players and stuff. They're just, they're just IPL shit, you know. Yeah. Um, they, beat, they beat every single team in the Big Bash by a million. <laughs> let's, let's be right about that, but... RCB have enough star power to win games, but you're looking at them winning seven out of the last eight games, and I think that would be the most RCB thing of all time to do it. And can you think about the vibes in Bengaluru mm. if they've won seven out of the last eight games, get mm. themselves into a final spot? Mm. It, I mean, I just can't see it happening right now, but like they rely so heavily on Glenn Maxwell, not as an, not just as an overseas player, but the position that he plays in their batting order. Yep. The fact that he cannot get any momentum going then relying on DK to hit like a 20 ball 50, which is not going to happen every game, but like, and it's not enough anyway. Yeah. I mean, it's the, uh, like, look, fundamentally RCB are weak this year. Um, but like they are still better than ninth in the table. I feel it. And anyway, the last two years, 16 points has been enough to reach fourth spot. So eight wins. The two years before that 14 was enough with net run rate. So you're looking at like, you're looking at seven or eight wins to get yourself into the playoffs this year. And RCB have got to win seven of the last eight. Is that possible? Of course it is. Is it going to happen? I wouldn't have thought so. But it would But it would be the most RCB thing ever if it did happen, you know? It's not going to happen. Um, <laughs> yeah. Uh, same old story. Stack the team with bats, yep. unders with the ball. Yeah. Um, they build their sides around, like, gun, high-profile batters who can amass runs individually. Uh, they had three guys hit half-centuries 
yeah. in this uh, in this game. Quickly as well. Uh, and that's only happened 10 times in the history of the IPL. So right. they, they have guys who can score high amounts of runs mm-hmm. individually, which is almost not where the game is anymore. They've got guys who can do that, but what they really need is your Maxwells, for example, to like offset the steadiness of mm-hmm. those top-order runs mm-hmm. with some fire and brimstone and explosion. Right. He's just not doing that. Yep. But if your whole strategy is built around one guy delivering oh, yeah. when it's like a consistently that, that a T twenty cricket. That kind of job is yeah. is a like fifty percent ratio at, at best. Uh then that's poor. They've got no spinners. Yeah. Uh it's it's they're looking at the mega. They're at the mega auction anyway. You know, we talk about one foot on the plane on holidays. It's one foot into the mega auction yeah, already yeah, for the yeah. RCB. Mix it up. Yeah. Go bowler heavy. They got. They need a different strategy. They've got, They've to, got get to go bowler heavy. Get themselves to RCB Bar and Cafe. There's got to be blokes there who, who are ready Once to be again. picked. They've got. To, they're ready to be picked at RCB yeah. Bar and Cafe. Um, when Mumbai get going, they look the best team in the world. They've won two games, and it's like, oh, well, if it, if it's doing that, then yeah. it's it's top four, and yeah. they're they're on big time. That's right. Uh, that one, like, and then one Katie becomes the uh, you know the fortress. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you know, I don't. Know. You always feel like with Mumbai, um, you know, they're like a they're a powerhouse juggernaut team full of superstars that does have cohesion. You know, when it all comes together, but they are. Um, I guess they're they're suspect uh, to like your know, wily Nalia IPL teams that know you know tactically mm-hmm. how to unpick it, like going down to CSK and they'll do you with spin, they drag you down and you know beat you with experience or your LSGs and your good outs and stuff like mm-hmm. teams who sort of seem to have that uh, that real like IPL T Twenty wisdom. Yep. They, they they change the game around. It's like a Mourinho formation or something. You've got to play mm-hmm. a different way. Mm-hmm. Uh, Mumbai is just a juggernaut, and yep. you you got, you got to find the right way to unpick it. Yep. Um, okay, I know it's been going on. Hashtag RTGC, just to, to finish here. Uh, this is from Smithy1242. Uh, are views going to be up on this video because Boomer did something good or down because Coley failed? <laughs> Yeah, peaks well, and troughs. <laughs> yeah, swings and roundabouts. Hey, well, I guess we'll find out. Yeah, yeah. We, we, you know, we, we went with the Shastri thirst trap yesterday and yeah. did nothing. Yeah. Uh, so who knows? Um, uh, and then Daily uh, Key Petals at Kier Cut says, uh, hashtag I said, say, Jasper Boomer, the best bowler in the world, um, is yet to win an ICC trophy because his T-shirt number is 93, lacking seven from being a perfect number 100. <laughs> hashtag Tulla for a reason. Yeah. Uh, nine minus... Three. Yeah. Plus one. Because he's number one in the world. Maybe it's his year. Maybe it's his year. Probably not. Thanks for joining us here on The Grey Cricketer and for the morning after IPL. As I said earlier, uh, not doing the games this weekend. Not doing the game. Oh, we're doing Sunday night's game. We're doing we'll Sunday night's game, Monday. but we're back on Monday. MI versus CSK. Ooh! Here he goes. Let's see if MI's made of the real stuff. They uh, are. Okay. Well, tickets are available at greycricketer.com for our show in New York if you want to join us there. We'll see you guys. Click subscribe, by the way. See you guys uh, next week. Cheers. <laughs>